Tracy Williams versus Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> I saw the same match two nights in a row. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of similarities of Minoru Suzuki <laughs> matches, but good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would I'm, he change I'm, anything? Oh, man, we'll be talking about Suzuki tomorrow. I got I a lot you, to say. I bet so you will. Tom. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, t- t- Suzuki's weekend, he had this match against Tracy Williams here on uh, Thursday, which I went on Twitter and gave one million billion stars. Okay. Uh, then he went out on Friday, had a match with Clark Connors that I heard was also awesome. And then he went out, flew across the country on Saturday to do the same thing to Filthy Tom. So he, he was a busy man. Busy, busy man. Making towns. You know what, though? I don't want to spoil too much from the Filthy show tomorrow, but... Uh... And granted, this just may be his uh, his indie matches, but you know it's kind of like this on the big shows as well. He's uh, he is fifty four, and mm-hmm. uh, he is the band doing the greatest hits. Sure, sure. And uh, I watched that match with Tom, and uh, the fucking crowd was just insane for this match. Oh yeah. But there there were spots here and there where they would uh, they would do a little bit of wrestling, and the crowd was less hot. All right. But then Minoru would make the face. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And every time he makes his fucking face, they go absolutely nuts. Yes. And in the Tom match, and I didn't even notice it until like the end, uh, he took two bumps. One of them was the uh, Tenzon driver, which I yep. took, by the way. And uh, as scary as it may look, it ain't a, really a bump. If you do it right, it's, yeah. it's nothing. Mm-hmm. But he did take the uh, the big Yurinage that Tom does. That was literally the only bump that he took at Defy. It was that one fucking bump. And the rest of it was, you know, they grappled, and then he did the face. Yep. And then they struck each other, and he did the face. And literally, all he had to do was his fucking face over and Thank over you. again. Okay. And, you know, I was, I was thinking about this because he showed up for the Defy show, and I was just looking at him and like, you know... I am spoiling all my material for tomorrow, but too bad. Him and Tom are upstairs in the room getting ready to do the show, and the floor is made of wood, okay? Mm-hmm. And Suzuki wants to explain something, and so he drops down to his knee on the wood, all right? It's a 54-year-old guy that was doing, you know, MMA, sh- mm-hmm. work shoots, you know, everything, and then, you know, he's been doing it for, you know, 100 years. And, bro, this guy got down onto his knee on the wood floor way better than Tom and back up again. Okay. And I'm watching this guy going, like, fuck. I, this is his third fucking match in three days. Yeah. How the fuck is he doing this? And then, I don't want to say it's easy, but when the match was over, I was like, well, I know how he does it. <laughs> like, all he does is take chops Mm-hmm. Do the face and take like one bump. Yeah. No shit, he can do this over and over again. He knows exactly what to do to be Minor Suzuki. And that's all he only does what the people want to see. Yes. He doesn't do any more than they want. And what they want is like, if you compare him to Speedball Mike Bailey, what they want is easy. <laughs> Every now and then, do the face. They fucking go nuts. And then, you know, take a kick to the chest and do the face. And then they start chanting, this is awesome, because you did a fucking face. Mm-hmm. So, man, I'm watching this guy going, this guy, like, he figured this shit out. Yeah. He figured this shit out. He's an all-timer, let me tell you. If you're looking for a representation of the face, I have a really good one on my Twitter page at Proper Jam. And, uh, I was hoping Tom you could and- demonstrate it for us. No, no, I, I cannot do this justice, but he's got Tom in a leg lock and Tom, or actually Tom's got him in a leg lock and Minoru's doing the face. Yes, yes. And it, I captioned it, you done pissed him off, Tom. There's actually a great shot that the photographer took that I saw after the show where uh, Suzuki has Tom in the arm bar and the ropes, you know, when, yes. when he does the arm bar and he's like upside down on his head on the apron. And uh, apparently he's upside down doing the arm bar with his head on the apron and he notices the photographer and so he lets go with one arm and just does a peace sign. He's smiling upside down on his head at the photographer with his arm bar on. He's giving fucking the pe- dying. Giving the peace sign as he's attempting to remove this a man's arm from a socket. This fucking guy is, he's something else, so, dude. An all-timer. So, so our old buddy, Buddy Wayne, was uh, not always a big fan of working stiff. No. And he, he used to say it takes no talent just to hit somebody as hard as you can. 
And I got his point, but listen, as a fan of stiff wrestling, I don't want to discourage him from doing that. But here's the thing. <laughs> There's a bunch of guys who wall up on each other like Minoru Suzuki does, but no one gets more out of it than Minoru Suzuki because of the face and the body language and the timing. And it's the mean face. It's the 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 the, the laughing at the guy when he's when he's in pain. His opponent when he's in pain, daring his opponent to bring it on. Like he's mixing comedy and ultra violence at the exact same time. Yes, yes. Having the time of his life. I think it's a big key. He looks like he's having a ball in there. Well, it's not only that, but uh, here's another story. So uh, he had his own locker room basically, and uh, and the door is kind of a little bit cracked. And every time I walk by that fucking dressing room, like cigarette smoke is pouring out. It was like it was like the whole state of Washington a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I think yeah. maybe Suzuki had been here a few weeks ago. That's why there's so much smoke. But uh, this guy smokes a lot, okay? And he's 54. But man, after this match here, and after the match with Tom, this bloke ain't even breathing hard yeah. because you know I hate to say it, but like he does nothing. He does the absolute bare minimum yeah. to get the most reaction right. out of out of the fans. This fucking guy's not even breathing hard. It was crazy when this match was over. Yeah. God. So it, it it's all the music between the notes, as we like to say. There's the, the occasional pauses, the occasional reactions. It's the way we just they're like the really big elbow, and the other guy's calling for you. He's gonna hit me right here, and Minoru drops, Minoru drops back, and he starts to bob and weave like he's shadow boxing. Even though he's going to do an overhand slap, which I don't think is taught in boxing schools. I haven't been in one in a while. But then, you know, he stops and he does either a big overhand s- s- uh, uh, slap or that, that the one short elbow that still sounds like a bell ringing somehow. And the guy dies every time. It's just great. So eventually, somewhere in this match, uh, uh, Tracy Williams is uh, tired of the abuse, wants to, wants to uh, survive to see another day. He tries... He tries Suzuki's own gotch pile driver, but of course Suzuki knows how to counter it, takes that into the sleeper hold, turns that into the gotch pile driver, and very casually wins. And you mentioned, Brian, that he doesn't look like he's breathing hard. Uh, as I wrote down here, he looks like he is done with his warm up and ready to begin his real workout. Yeah. Yeah. The best. That was the best. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so, like, I was chopping the tree, and uh, I just remember looking up, and all of a sudden, like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up, and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down, and all of a sudden, I was like, I woke up later. <laughs> this is the weird thing he says. Yeah. And it is. Well, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.